So here I am, walking and reading and talking again. Today I was reading in Deuteronomy 6, and I came across verses 10 through 12, whenever essentially what God is saying is whenever you get into the land that I'm giving you, this land flowing with milk and honey, a land of abundance, take care lest you forget God. Whenever you're full, you've had your fill, the land has provided abundantly for you. Don't forget God. And at first that seems odd, because after all, how many times do we in our, our prayers thank you for our physical blessings, all these things that I have? That's typically a common thing that you'll hear in people's prayer lives, that they're thankful for the abundance of, of their possessions and the abundance of food and nourishment and these kinds of things. But here, he says, with those things, the abundance, he says, take care lest you forget God. And it got me thinking, why would he say that? That seems strange. And then I remembered, as you read in the Gospel of Luke, particularly in chapter 6, it's um, similar to the Sermon on the Mount. He's delivering these Beatitudes, which is translated as blessings. But he also follows them with woes. And in chapter 6, two of them in particular that I want to point out. One, he says, blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Not what I would expect. Then, in its opposite, he says, woe to the rich. They've received their consolation. Not what we typically say. We usually say, blessed are the rich, because they have all these abundant things. They're clearly blessed. And the poor, they must not be blessed, because they're poor. That's how we think about it. But Jesus says the opposite. Blessed are the poor, woe to the rich. Why? As I considered this, I think the same principle applies back in Deuteronomy 6. If I'm poor, what do I rely on but God alone? I have no other choice. I can't rely on my money to find my way. I can't rely on my wealth, my possessions, nothing because I don't have them. I can only lean on God, the Almighty, the provider. If I'm rich, I can lean on my possessions. I can lean on my finances. Those things can easily become my God. So whenever we're in Deuteronomy and we've gotten into the land, the land flowing with milk and honey where abundance is there, be careful. Don't start to rely on all your things, thinking these things will sustain me. Because what got them for you? But the Lord your God. So it's interesting to think of what true blessings are. And I think the true test of faith doesn't come in poverty, but it comes in abundance. 